the power of perseverance. Mabatid, yun po yung ating pong uh, title of this message and um, comes from the, it is the last message, Mabatid, that will come from the series of message from the faith in times of fear. It's very relative, Mabatid, sa ating pong panahon ngayon because we are living in very uncertain situation. Okay? Hindi natin alam kung kailan po tayo makaahon, makabangon, mga kapatid, sa ating pong pandemic. But we know that our future is unto God and we are hoping not for the worst. As Christians, we are hoping for the best. Okay? Now, Hebrews chapter 3 uh, speaks of four things at yung po ating pong papag-aralan sa oras po nito. Let's hope na inaipagkasa po natin ang kanya pong uh, ang mga principles ng isang chapter po nito sa ating pong pag-aaral. Okay? The promise of perseverance. Okay? Now, sa Hebrews chapter 3, sinimulan mga kapatid yung the most important part ng ating pong papag-aralan, which is the preeminence of Jesus Christ. Pag sinayin mo pong preeminence of high importance, of highest importance. Okay? Now, ang Hebrews, mga kapatid, ay sinulat ni Apostle Pablo. I believe it is Apostle Paul because of the similarities ng pagsusulat. No? Ay sinulat niya ito, mga kapatid, sa mga uh, Jewish believers that are scattered abroad. At ito, mga kapatid, ay hindi lang para sa mga Hudyo, but was for all believers. Okay? Nagkataon lang, mga kapatid, ito po ay para sa mga Hebrew believers. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, yung mga reference ni Apostle Paul ay may angkop sa history ng Israel. Okay? Now, Hebrews chapter 3 says, uh, Hebrews chapter 3 began on the preeminence of Jesus Christ. Sige po, pakikita po. In the preeminence of Christ. Kung sa ayaw preeminence of highest importance, Okay? Siya po ang mas importante, mas dakila, mas nakakalamang. Yun po ibig sabihin ng word na preeminence. Now, sa Hebrew chapter 3 verse 1, bakit po natin, bakit po natin napapag-aralan yung preeminence of Christ? Because sinabi po dyan, sa Hebrew chapter 3 verse 1, okay, mabasahin ko lang po, no? Wherefore, holy brethren, okay, tayo po yan, partakers of the heavenly calling, tayo din po yan, consider who? Consider Christ na kung saan apostoles at high priest of our profession. Si Christ Jesus daw po yan. Now, napakita doon mga kapatid yung importansya ni Christ sa ating pong heavenly calling. Kaya sinabi ko po sa verse, sa first point natin, okay, Christ is the reason of our calling. Sabi dyan sa verse 1, Consider Jesus, who He is, what He has done, sino ba siya sa ating pong mga buhay. Okay, now sinasabi po dyan, Consider Christ Jesus, who is what? who was faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. Nakinong para mga kapatid si Jesus kay Moses? In a way, kasi si Jesus mga kapatid, naging faithful siya sa kanyang pong inheritance, sa house po na yan. Na yung house po na sinasabi po dyan, mga kapatid, to him that appointed unto him, ay tayo. Naging matapat si Jesus sa atin. We are his house. We are Christ's inheritance. Just like Moses, naging faithful siya kay Israel. Sige, sa Israel pala. Hindi kay Israel. Sa Israel. Okay? Now, bakit ko po sinabi yung preeminence? Mas preeminence si Christ. Kasi sinabi sa verse 3, He is much more worthy of glory than Moses. Na malaking bagay po yun para sa mga Hebrew believers. Okay? Kasi si Moses, mga kapatid, is a very important figure sa kanilang religion. Okay? Through Moses, pinadala yung, yung law. Okay? And up until now, they still believe and they still practice the law. Now, sinasabi ni Apostle Pablo, bilang mga, hindi lang mga hodyo, bilang mga mananampalataya na ni Jesus, understand that Christ is much more glorified than Moses. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an analogy. Okay? 1983, Okay. Sports, mahilig ako sa sports eh. 1983, na, na, na panood ko yung, na, 1983, na, na year of 1983, the, a team sa NBA called the, the Chicago Bulls okay, was struggling kasi wala, almost ibibenta na yung kanila pong franchise. In 1984, a certain young man named Michael Jordan came okay, sa, sa, sa league. They just won 28 games no, no 1983, 
Pagdating na 1984, pasok agad sila sa playoffs. Ganun kalaking impact ni Michael Jordan. Now, we all know the story. Kahit di mo lang siguro kayo basketball fan, no? Si Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. He built the franchise and the dynasty ng Chicago Bulls. Nung napanood ko siya sa, nung napanood ko sa documentary, yung Last Dance, sabi doon, magkaroon pala sila ng problema sa management. Because the management is simply saying na kami yung lumikha sa'yo. Because of the organizations kaya nalikha tong great Chicago Bulls. Sabi ni Michael Jordan, no, the players ang lumikha ng organization. Without the players, wala kayong may enjoy na dynasty. And that is true. Totoo po yun. We can claim that Michael Jordan built the Chicago Bulls kasi ibibenta niya. Kung di dumating si Michael Jordan, because of his greatness, wala ang Chicago Bulls. Now in the context mga pati dito, Christ built this house, the church. And Christ is greater than the, Christ is far greater because He built the house. He is far greater than the house that He built. Because kung wala yung builder, wala yung house. Ang sinasabi mga kapatid sa Hebrews chapter 3, okay, He is counted more worthy of glory than Moses inasmuch as He who hath built the house hath more honor than the house He built. Okay? Kung sino yung lumikha, okay, ng house sa kung saan ng church, much glory, mga kapatid, ang nararapat sa kanya. Because without the builder, there will be no house. Okay? Now, si Moses, mga kapatid, ay hindi po ang naglikha okay, ng house o ng inheritance na kung saan inappoint po sa kanya. Okay? It's still Jesus. Without Jesus, without God, in whom he, who built all things, mga kapatid, where there will be no house. So sinasabi mga kapatid sa verse 3, Christ is much more worthy of glory than Moses kasi nilikha niya lang si Moses. Okay? Ang sabi sa verse 4 din mga kapatid, sa verse 4, For every house is builded by some man, but he that built all things is God. Signifying that Christ is Lord. Totoong Diyos si Cristo. Okay? Ang Diyos ang namabikha sa lahat, therefore He is worthy of all glory. Na kung si Jesus ay ang lumikha din mga kapatid ng house na kung saan tinayuan ni Moses, he is also worthy of glory. More glory than Moses. Isang example din mga kapatid na sinabi sa verse 5. Kung si Moses naging siyang glorious because of his servant, uh, because of his service mga kapatid sa Israel, Christ is much more glorious than him. Kasi kung si Moses ay lingkod, si Jesus mismo yung owner. Siya po yung son over his own house. Sabi dyan sa verse 5, And Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant. First Christ, but says verse 6, But Christ as a son over his own house, whose house are we, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope from unto the end. Now, siguro mas, mas para mas madaling natin maintindihan, the servant is less more glorious than the owner, than the son himself. Na kung saan in my, my inheritance o na kung saan lumikha sa lahat. Christ is more glorious. Christ is the reason of our calling. Consider Him as the apostle and the high priest of our profession. And Christ must like, so this verse in verse 6, is also the builder. Christ is as glorious as the Father. Okay? Christ is equal with God. Okay? Pandaan po natin that is a doctrinal truth bilang mga Kristiyano, Okay? Christ is God. Okay? We believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We believe in the Trinity. Okay? And lastly, mga brother, Christ is also the reason of our confidence. Kaya sinasabi sa verse 6. Okay? But Christ is the Son over His own house. Whose house are we? Tayo po yun, mga, mga anak ng Panginoong Diyos. We are considered as the house, as the inheritance, as the... Um, as the people of God. But sabi sa verse 6, And the rejoicing of the hope, ay, Whose house are we if we hold fast the confidence in the rejoicing of the hope firm to the end? Okay? Now, siya rin po, mga kapatid, hindi lang po siya ito yung reason natin pong calling, hindi lang po siya equal with the Father, but also, He is also the reason of this confidence. 
Now, magpapatuloy tayo doon sa tema, mga kapatid, ng perseverance. Okay? Babalikan pa natin yung definition. Perseverance is endurance and persistence. Okay? When things go, when things go tough, kapag gumarating na po yung kahirapan. Okay? For example, kung ikaw ay nasa race at gusto mo nang subuko dahil pagod ka na, the strength na kung saan hinugot mo para magpatuloy kahit pagod na pagod ka na, that is what you call perseverance. Okay? The strength or the desire to finish even if you are weary, even if you are uh, tired na sa inyong pong takbuhan, yun po yung perseverance, the endurance and the persistence to finish and the desire to finish. Now, saan po yung pangako na nanggagaling mga kapatid? Nanggagaling mga kapatid dun sa pangako ng verse 6. If we hold fast the confidence and rejoicing of the hope firm to the end. Okay? Na may pangakong Panginoong Jesus, pero meron din po siyang premise. If there is a promise, there is a premise. Okay? And the second point natin mong babagaralan is the premise of the promise. Okay? Is the premise of the promise. Yung verse 6. Sa isang salita, mga kapatid, de-emphasize, mga kapatid, yung dapat po nating ipakita o dapat po nating na-demonstrate na bilang mga anak ng Diyos. The word, if we indeed hold fast our confidence. Merong word na if. The premise is the word if. Kung gusto pa natin maging partakers daw, if we are, if we are truly, mali nga rin kung no? If we are truly partakers, dapat meron yung word na if. Nadahati ang gusto dalawa, mga ba, sa aking pong pag-aaral, nakita ko po yung dalawang if na kung sa inulit. Ano yung una? If we hold fast our confidence, paano ah, if you hear His voice. If we hold fast our confidence, at pangalawa, if you hear His voice. Yun po yung premise, mga kapatid. Okay? Now, as you have received the promise, mga kapatid, ito po yung kaupulang katibayan. Now, I want to emphasize this very carefully. Hindi mo ito ginagawa para maging parte ka ng house ng Panginoon. Ginagawa mo ito, mga kapatid, dahil ikaw po ay parte na ng house ng Panginoon. Now, the doctrine ng perseverance of the saints is very, very important sa mga anak niya. Bakit? Kasi mga kapatid, ito po yung patunay na talagang ligtas ka. Because we understand that the Lord will keep you on believing. Okay? Pangako po ito ng Panginoon, Diyos, sa mga nakareceive na ng kaligtasan. Now therefore, ito po yung katibayan. Okay? Kabilang tayo sa kanya pong tahanan if okay, you do this. Kabilang po tayo mga kapatid sa kanya pong inheritance if we do this. If we are doing this. Okay? It is the assurance of your salvation. It is the demonstration of what you believe in. It keeps you from hearing the word. Kung sina, pag sinabi ng judgment day, okay? pag sinabi ng Panginoon Diyos sa iyo, what have you done with Christ? What have you done for me? Masasabihin mo, hindi sasabihin ni Jesus, I never knew you. It is your, it is your assurance. It is your assurance of eternal life. If we hold fast, Paano yung patunay, pa, Pastor, na yun yung sinasabi niya? And the Bible is very, uh, is very detailed pagdating sa mga, pagdating sa, uh, ano ba yung word? Pagdating sa motib, ma, motibo ng writer. Paano niyo po malalaman? Depende sa pagkasulat. Kung kailan ba, yung, 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 uh, yung past tense, okay? Kung present tense po ba yan? o future tense, may kita po natin mga kapatid kung paano natin, uh, paano yung katibayan mga kapatid ng salita ng Panginoong Diyos. Okay? Mga again, sinasabi ko po sa inyo, hindi po ito kondisyon para maging parte ng house ng Panginoong Diyos. Ito po ay kondisyon dahil ikaw ay parte na ng house ng Panginoon. Okay? There is this big if 
Okay? For example, you look at chapter 3. Okay? Sabi sa verse 1, Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling. Doon pala nung mga kapatid nakita po natin that we are ina-assume na nung ina na ni Paul na yung mga readers niya is already what? Partakers. Ano ba sa Tagalog partakers? Taga tagabahagi. Oh, nakikibahagi. Nakikibahagi sa calling. Okay? Na meron po tayo. Okay? Hindi niya po sinabi dyan mga kapatid na if you do this you are partakers. Okay? Another verse, mga kapatid, para, 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 po, na, para po makita po na ma-emphasize na po natin, mga kapatid. Okay? Another verse is um, Okay? Mag-isa pa po uh, patunay. Nakunyo yung verse 1. Oh, hindi ko yata nasulat. Wait lang po. Nakahanapin ko lang. <laughs> Nandiyan po pa sa akin. Ano? Okay. okay. <clears throat> Ayan. Sa so verse 14. Ayan, tama po. Tama po right. Verse 14. Verse 14. Sabi po dyan, For we are made partakers. Hindi po sinabi, You will become partakers. You are already what? Made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end. So, tandaan niyo po eh, yung if po na yan ay hindi po kondisyon para maging anak ng Diyos because we all know that we are saved through, by grace through faith. Okay? Pero mga kapatid, yan po ang kondisyon Nang mag, yan po yung kondisyon kapag ikaw na okay, ay anak ng Diyos. Dapat po nagpapatuloy ka. Dapat po nagpa-persevere ka. Dapat mga kapatid, hindi ka tumitigil sa pananampalataya. Now that is very powerful. Lala po sa panahon po ating ngayon. Because oftentimes Christian churches um, take for granted the unconditional love of God. Sabihin nila, okay lang, unconditional naman ang pagmamahal, ligtos pa rin ako. Kahit na hindi ako magsimba, kahit hindi ako makinig ng salata ng Panginoong Diyos, kahit mamuhay ako ng ganito, ng maraming asawa, ng maraming bisyo, okay lang, because God's love is unconditional. Kapatid, that kind of teaching is not from the Bible. Okay? Unconditional ng pagmamahal ng Panginoong Diyos when it comes to the world, but when it comes to salvation, it's very conditional. Okay? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth on Him okay, should not perish but have everlasting life. Mahal tayo, mahal sa nalibutan ng Panginoong Diyos. But when it comes to salvation, there is always an if. Kung ikaw ay nasa Panginoong Jesus for those who are in Christ Jesus. Kailangan po mga kapatid na ebidensya. Okay? Are you continuing in the faith? That's why I believe mga kapatid, if you are not continuing in the faith right now, consider ka as apostate, if you gave up on faith, you are never a part of God's house. Hindi ka kailangan maligtas. Hindi ka kailangan maging parte mga kapatid ng inheritance ng Panginoong Diyos. Now I understand mga kapatid na ang isang Kristiyano natatapa. Tama ba? Ito na pa. Nagbabackslide nun sa Sabi nga sa amin ni Pastor Bong sa nung kami po ay Bible student, okay lang yung bumabagsak. Basta nagpapatuloy. <laughs> sa calling. Wala, hindi ka nag-aaral. Bumabagsak ka talaga. Pero, mapapatunay mo na wag ka, kung nagpatuloy ka pa rin. Okay? Same goes sa atin mga kapatid. We fall down sometimes. But it is never to the point, mga kapatid, na binitawan mo na yung panampalataya mo. Because some of us claim that we are Christians, in the end, nag-apostate, nag-fall away from the faith. Hindi na nagpatuloy, mga kapatid. They understand that we fall sometimes. But if we 
hold fast unto that assurance, confidence unto the end, hold fast unto our faith, you are indeed part of this house. You are indeed partakers. Okay? Hindi ang requirement para maligtas, pero yan ay katibayan para dahil ikaw po ay ligtas na. Tandaan niyo po yan. Okay? Huwag po natin ma-misinterpret pagdating po sa ating conversion na binatagaralan. Okay? Same goes sa ating pong good works. We do it because we are saved. Okay? It is um, it is offered unto God dahil ligtas ka na. Hindi mo yan ino-offer sa Panginoong Diyos dahil po gusto mong maligtas. Okay? So this premise, mga kapatid, is a very powerful um, understanding para po makita po natin yung ating posisyon bilang isang kristyano. Okay? Marami pong grito. Marami pong premise when it comes to the promise of the Lord. If you want to be called the Son of God, you should receive and believe upon Jesus. If you want to be forgiven from your sins, if you confess your sins, you are He is faithful and just. There's always a premise to God's promise, mga kapatid. Natandaan po natin yung importansya po niyan bilang mga mga ng palataya. Okay? Again, I will emphasize, kondisyon yan hindi para maging anak ng Diyos, kondisyon po yan dahil ikaw ay anak ng Diyos. If, okay, if we hold fast our confidence. But before we move on to the next point, I believe that firmly, Kasi it would take supernatural power coming from God to keep you from believing. Kung babasahin mo lang mga kapatid yung mga nakahandang fiery trials sa isang kristyano in the future. It takes supernatural power coming from God to keep a believer from believing it is coming from God. Much like if, if God keeps us from persevering, much like God keeps us from praying, Unto, himself, unto, unto God. Sabi sa Jude. Okay? Pray unto the Holy Ghost. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Okay? Kaya yung ating pong, even yung ating pong pananatili sa panang palataya, pagiging matibay, pagiging, pagiging, uh, pers- uh, pagpapersevere natin sa faith, hindi po atin kaya i-credit sa ating pong mga sarili. It is all coming from God. It is all coming from God. Okay? <clears throat> Now, the, this assurance, mga kapatid, okay, na kung saan meron po tayo, comes from continuing and persevering in the faith. If we do not, um, if we do not harden our hearts and continue in the faith, that is our assurance. Okay, yan ay patunay. At sa tunay na krisyano, mga kapatid, yung eternal life and the unconditional love of God na kung saan binibigay niya po sa atin, should not be an excuse to sin, should not be an excuse to abuse the grace of God. It should be the courage to fight on. Ito po dapat yung motivasyon natin to keep on believing sa pangako ng Panginoong Diyos. Okay? Now, not only the premise of the promise, but also number two, and number three, the power of our perseverance. The power of our perseverance. I'm going to stay to the point. The power belongs to God. Sabi yung asa inyo kanina, you cannot take glory from your persevering. Okay? Hindi mo pwedeng, hindi mo pwedeng i-take yung credit because it comes from God. Yung power for you to keep on believing comes from God. Kasi kung wala ang, ang, ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoon Diyos, matagal lang po tayo sa buko. Okay? It's by His grace, it's by His mercy that we are not consumed, it's by His grace that we will still, will still keep on persevering. Kaya kung last week na pag-aalap natin yung sustaining grace, ito naman yung persevering grace ng Panginoong Diyos sa buhay mo. Okay? Sabi sa verse, chapter 13, verse 20. Chapter 13 po yan, po yan, verse chapter 3. No? Chapter 13, verse 20 says, Now may the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of sheep, with the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you, he will, what? Equip you with everything good that you may do His will. Now, that's very broad, mga kapatid. But if you would look and understand the promise, ano daw? Yung bagay daw na kung saan kailangan para sa buhay mo para magawa mo yung kalooban ng Diyos ay galing saan? Ini-equip din, no? It is equipped by 
God Himself working in us that which is pleasing in His sight through what? Well, tayo po ay meron ng Jesus to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. The power comes from God's promise of enablement, giving us persevering, persevering grace. Now, hindi po to posible. Again, take note. Hindi po to posible kung hindi mo bubukatin ang salita ng Diyos. It is not possible this persevering, this if, okay, itong sa, ver, itong, uh, itong sa chapter 3, that if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end, this is not possible if we do not hear the word of God, if we do not live by the word of God. Because the only way na may, may experience natin ito mga kapatid, matamasa natin ito, malasap natin ito, if we experience it through the Word. Through the Word. God enable us, equips us para magawa natin yung kalooban ng Panginoong Diyos for His glory and for His honor. And that is enabled through His Word. Okay? Through His Word. <coughs> Verse 7 says, Wherefore is the Holy Ghost today if ye will hear His voice? Chapter 2, verse 3. Napakita ang importansya ng pananatili sa, sa, sa silita ng Panginoong Diyos, sa nareveal ng Panginoong Diyos at ipong mga bunga. Kung sabi niyo yung verse, chapter, one hanggang, chapter, uh, chapter 2, verse 1 hanggang verse 3. Therefore, we ought to give more earnest heed to the things which ye have heard. Okay, narinig natin sa, sa, sa Sunday school kanina. Okay. We are accountable of the things that we are learning sa Bible. And the more you know, the more accountable you are. Take heed to sa mga narinig po natin. Give more earnest heed to things to the things which we have heard. Lest any time we should let them slip. Verse 2, For if the word spoken by the angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received as a, ju a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which is first began to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed to us by them that heard Him? Manatili po tayo dun sa ating pong tutunan, sa ating pong narinig. Let us keep on persevering through the word of God. Sa pamagitan ng salita ng Panginoong Diyos. Okay? God enables us by the word. God's, uh, the power of our perseverance comes from God Himself. It is equipped unto us through the word. And without the word, mga kapatid, we cannot be enabled. Okay? Madali po tayo mag-discourage. So therefore, consider this. Okay? Huwag po ating kalimutan. Yung, yung, not only if you are partakers, and also if you heard His voice, if you keep on hearing God's voice. Now, <clears throat> before I continue, mga sa last point, pag-aalam mo natin yung sa verse, chapter 3, bakit po ginamit yung ilustrasyon ng mga ng mga Israelites on the wilderness. Okay? Samahan niyo po ako sa chapter 3. Okay? <clears throat> chapter 3, verse 7 hanggang verse hanggang, on, ongoing. Patuloy pa natin. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith. Ito po ay galing sa song. I forgot the song. No? It's, it's, it's coming from a particular song. Yung, Therefore, the Holy Ghost saith. Okay? Today, if you will hear His voice, kung, kung, kung meron kayong, kung tataka kayo, nag-pray kayo ng, ng, ng literal instruction ng Holy Spirit in your life, look at this. If you're discouraged, hear His voice, sabi sa verse 8, harden not your hearts. As, the, as in the provocation, in the day of temptation, in the wilderness, harden not your hearts. Ginamit po yung ilustrasyon ng wilderness. Ano bang meron doon sa wilderness? Ano bang napagdaanan ni Moses and the times sila po ay nasa wilderness? Murmuring, unfaithfulness, okay? disobedience sa Panginoong Diyos. 
hindi naging smooth yung kanila pong sailing. Instead of two weeks travel, naging what? 40 years. Kasi sinasabi po dyan, mga kapatid, unlike the Israelites, wag mo, wag mo magmatigas. Do not harden your hearts. As you go on, okay? When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works 40 years. Natandaan niyo, mga kapatid, all throughout those 40 years, God keep them, or God kept them, okay, sa, sa lahat ng, uh, sa lahat ng consequences ng kanila pong kasalanan, naranas nila yon. many have died, a generation have died, and the younger generations nila yung nakalapit, God still maintained His promise. Makakarating kayo sa promised land. In other words, mga palit, sinustain sila ng grace ng Panginoong Diyos for the 40 years of disobedience and murmuring, Okay? Of heart and hearts, and yet, anong ginawa nila? They still provoke God. Okay? When your father saw my works, they still provoke me for 40 years. Verse 10, Wherefore I was grieved with that, with that generation, and said, do They do always err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. Imagine, the Israelites, literal na nakikita yung shikai na glory. Literal na nahuhulog yung, yung mana. Literal na pinoprovide siya ng Panginoong Diyos yung food. Literal yung grace ng Panginoong Diyos all throughout their days, all throughout their years in the wilderness. Yet, they became bitter. Yet they become hardened sa nila ng mga puso. So sinasabi ni Apostle Paul, huwag po tayo tumulad sa kanila. Nung na-experience na nga yung grace ng Panginoong Diyos, nagmatigas pa. I don't know if you are experiencing the grace of God in this pandemic. Are you? Amen? Sana po na-experience nyo. Sana po na-experience po natin. Sana po in this na mga kapatid, magmatigas yung ating pong puso. Okay? Because of our own expectation. Because we want God to work for our own whim. I-appreciate mo yung grace ng Panginoong Diyos. Dahil hanggang sa ngayon, buhay ka. Hanggang sa ngayon, malakas ka. Hanggang sa ngayon, may trabaho po tayo. Meron po tayong tira. The grace of God is still flowing. Okay? We sometimes forget our victories because of simple defeats in our lives. We forgot the great, the grand and great victories ng Panginoong Diyos sa ating mga buhay. Harden not your hearts. No, i-address ni Apostle Paul yung issue ng unbelief. That is a good, that is a big issue. Issue of unbelief. Okay. Ng ating pong pag-fall away from the faith comes from unbelief. Departing from the living God comes from unbelief. That is true. Kaya sinasabi ni Apostle Pablo, those who kept faithful, kept on being faithful in their faith, in believing until the end, yun lang yung nakarating ng promise na yun. Yun lang mga kapatid, yun naging, yun nakareceive ng promise. But exhort one another, verse 13, daily, while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened to the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end. Yung sa ibang translation, ginamit yung word na assurance. Napaganda, napakasarap na sa pain yung word. Assurance. If we hold fast to our assurance to the end. Okay? Not only the power of our perseverance, lastly, depend on us. Lastly. Huwag po tayo matulad sa mga Israelites. Even though they, they literally enjoy the grace of God, they still harden their hearts. And lastly, the path of our perseverance, the path of our perseverance. Okay? Ito po yung other translations of verse 14. For we are become companions of the, of, of the Christ if indeed we hold in the beginning, hold the beginning of the assurance firm to the end. Okay? Also, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 11 to verse 12. 
And we desire each one of you to show the same earnestness, to have the full assurance of hope until the end. Not sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promise. Hindi po tayo, hindi po tayo uh, tumitigil maramadid sa paglilingkod. We don't become sluggish. Instead, we imitate those who come before us, those who by faith and patience inherit the promise. Okay? The meaning of this assurance, mga budet, we are made partakers if we are indeed holding fast on our assurance. Ito po yung meaning ng assurance po natin. Yung definition. Yung demonstration. If we are indeed holding fast on our assurance. Okay? Now, hindi po tayo mag-focus sa meaning. Mag-focus po natin sa manifestation. Okay? Yeah. Kung tayo magkatapos, mga budet, bibilisan ko lamang po para... Okay? The manifestation of our assurance. Okay? Hebrews chapter 2, mga web, dinasa po natin. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1, Therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which have heard, lest any time we should let them slip. Okay? Let's give more earnest heed to the word of God. So ito po yung path na kung saan dapat po ating tahagin, mga kapatid, as we persevere in the faith, be faithful unto this, this assurance sa ating pumabuhay. Ano po muna? Never neglect God's word. Never neglect God's word. Meron mga sa, merong term sa Bible na kung saan ginamit yung word, the doll of healing. Doll of healing. Sorry, not healing. Doll of healing. Okay? Andiyan yung warning ng Panginoong Diyos na bibingi-bingihan ka. You're dull of hearing. You neglect God's word in your life. Sa ibang, sa ibang sa, sa ESV version, there were, therefore we must pay much closer attention to what we have heard. Closer attention. Ito mga kapatid, ay dapat po natin hindi baliwalain. There are lots of warnings in the Bible that we, in this generation, in this society, Ay, ay ano na, dating sin sa dating sin sa dating dogmatic na kung saan kasalanan ngayon accepted na sa ating pong society. Okay? We should take heed of the warnings. We should take heed, mga kapatid, sa ating pong kalagayan, sa ating pong panahon ngayon. Never neglect God's word. Hebrews chapter 2. Hebrews chapter 3. Never forget our position as what? Partakers. Kabahagi ka Okay? Ginamit yung word the partakers because we are partakers not just of Christ saving us, we are partakers of His sufferings for we are not just called to carry His name but we are called to suffer for His name's sake. And dahil niyo po yan mga kapatid, we are, we should not neglect our position as partakers. Kung si Kristo nga mga kapatid na kahirapan dito sa mundong ito, He suffered in the hands of the unrighteous people, okay? He suffered many things mga kapatid. How much more we? We are partakers. Okay? Nakikibahagi ka, mga kapatid. And we are His house. We can be we hold fast our confidence and our boasting in our own. Okay? So, hindi lang, mga kapatid, aparte ng ating pong, ng ating pong path for perseverance ay patuloy mo. Uh, nag-ibigay ng focus sa salita ng Panginoon Diyos. You never neglect the word of God. You never forget your position as a partaker. Okay? Number three, never give up service. Okay? And we desire each one of you to show the same earnest, earnestness. Okay? Yung init, yung, yung kaseryosuhan, mga kapatid. Okay? To have the full assurance of hope until the end, so that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promise. Never give up serving the Lord. Never give up your service. Never give up your calling. Bilang mga anak, bilang mga lingkod ng Panginoong Diyos. And lastly, never give in to unrighteousness. Part na ating pong pagpapatuloy sa pagtakbo sa race is what? Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to verse 2. Okay? Nakalimutan ko. Nakalimutan ko yung simula. Masada ko tayo. Hebrews chapter 12. Okay? How do you run the race with patience? Okay? With perseverance? 
Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about in so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. So, pamamakita ng mga kapatid, we will run the race with patience that is set before us. Ano ba yung susi? Lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset you. Ano ang nakita ng quote? Okay. Uh, Hindi ko alam kung quote yun sa ano siya, picture siya na may mga words. Kalimutan ko yung term ng mga kabataan. Uh, sabi niya, uh, nag-advise siya ng diet, eat well, eat your vegetables, okay? live a full life. Sabi nung nag-debunk ng kanyang statement, you only live one life, there is no sequel. So eat whatever you want. <laughs> Wala daw sequel mga kabataan. For us Christians, there is a sequel. It can end, it can end badly, horribly para sa yon, or it can end gloriously. Kung ikaw po ay nasa Panginoong Jesus, okay? All the things sa kung saan ginagawa po natin dito, kung ikaw ay naging Kristiano, will all be judged by God in the judgment seat. Everything ating pong ginawa para sa kanya will all be given its rightful reward. Never give in to unrighteousness. Let us lay aside every weight. And this sin, which does so easily cling sa ating pong mga buhay. And by that, we will run the race with endurance at the set before us. Let's review. Ano yung path na ating pong perseverance? It comes from not neglecting God's word. Not forgetting our position. Ano yung pong position po natin? We are made partakers. Tandaan po natin, hindi po ito ano? Hindi po ito kondisyon para maging. Ito po ay kondisyon dahil ikaw na ay partakers ng Panginoon Diyos. Therefore, you hold fast. Number three, never give up your service. Gusto ng Panginoon Diyos yung full assurance of hope until the end. You are not sluggish. You will not give up your service of Panginoon Diyos. And lastly, never give in to unrighteousness and sin. We all know that we are not hoping for the best in this lifetime, we are hoping for the best in the future. Kung grace, a future hope na meron po tayo sa langit kasama ng Panginoon Diyos. Never give in from righteousness. And every deed natin kung ginagawa bilang mga mga palataya will all be judged by God. So be careful in your life. Be careful in your sanctification, mga brother, that us live a right life with God. And then, as a conclusion, Okay? Let us claim this promise. Okay? <clears throat> Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23 says, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. Why? For he who promised and he who promised is faithful. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence which has a great Mighty reward. Let us look forward, mga kapatid, sa reward na ating pong tatanggapin as we continue to persevere. I hope and I pray na patuloy yung demonstrasyon ng ating pong pagiging partakers ng Panginoong Diyos. Let us, let us remember that we understand the preeminence of Christ. Pangalawa, uh, the premise of His promise, the power of, his, of our perseverance and the path of our perseverance. Tayo kayo manalang. Pagilang Diyos, purihin ka, may taas ka, Panginoon. You are counted more glorious, infinitely more glorious than your servant Moses. As we continue to strive in the faith, Father God, we want to consider who you are in our lives. We are indeed partakers of Christ Jesus, of you, O oh Lord, part of this, part of being a partaker, Panginoong Diyos, experiencing many trials and many sufferings and many discouragements in our lives. We know, Father God, that you are indeed faithful to your house. Bilang response, Father God, tulungan niyo po kami. 
the whole trust and the confidence in the assurance dear Lord na hindi lang po namin ito pinapag-aralan hindi lang po namin ito itinuturo Panginoon Diyos hindi lang po namin ito binabasak hindi lang po namin ito natutunan because every day of our lives we experience this assurance Panginoon most like the Israelites experiencing your grace and they still harden their hearts sana mga kapatid ang reaksyon naman namin Panginoon Diyos sa inyong kung nakilang biyaya will be the opposite that was Father God to reshape and respond through service and love by your church, Panginoon Diyos dahil sa inyong kung nakilang biyaya na pinakita po Panginoon Diyos in the past months this pandemic, dear Lord hindi namin kailanman nagtatanggi ang hindi pong kabutihan ang hindi pong katapatan sa itong mabuhay you still remain faithful even though you sometimes fall we thank you dear God because your faithfulness is not based on man it's based on who you are thank you dear Lord for your love and for your mercy and for your grace we thank you for the times Panginoon Diyos na hindi kami sumuko dahil alam namin Panginoon Diyos na yung kapamirihan kung saan nag enable sa amin para di sumuko is coming from you you are the one who is keeping us from giving up Panginoon Diyos continually equip us and enable us for the things that will glorify and that will accomplish your will Father God we love you and we praise you this is in Christ most blessed name Amen and Amen